If you are a Labour MP with personal ambitions, it's fashionable to treat Jeremy Corbyn as if he has the plague. Like a neo-fascist, according to the Labour right, Keir Starmer's predecessor should be no platformed. Never should you stand on the same stage as the person you tried to make Prime Minister less than 18 months ago, or in fact, a little bit more than 18 months ago, less than two years ago. This context meant that Angela Rayner came under pressure when this photo appeared on Twitter last week. So you can see here Angela Rayner speaking at a press event for Barry Gardner's campaign to end fire and rehire. So fire and rehire is the practice where a boss can say, you either have to accept these new contracts or you don't have a job anymore. We could essentially fire you and rehire you on a worse contract. Labour want that um, outlawed. Barry Gardner's launching a campaign. Here you can see Rayner, Corbyn and Gardner at a press event. Now, according to Politico's playbook email, this picture got Rayner in a spot of bother and a Labour official complained. This is another slight on Keir Starmer from Angela Rayner as she is sharing a political platform with the suspended leader of the British Labour Party. I don't know why a, a Labour official would say the British Labour slightly odd statement. But anyway, that was the statement given to Politico. A source close to Rayner insists to Playbook that Corbyn photobombed her by sliding into the shot unnoticed and that she did not know he would be there in advance and did not talk to him. Now, if this was true, this would be quite sad. You know, Jeremy Corbyn, he was supposed to be the next prime minister. He's now just this lonely guy wandering around Westminster. Every time he sees a camera, he just stands next to a politician, puts his thumbs up. Even if they're embarrassed, that's what he did. What are you supposed to do? It's just Jeremy Corbyn. He's bored. He appears in photos. That would be pretty tragic. Luckily, it's not true, as you'll see from this footage of the event. Here we go. Yeah, I will. Back Barry's bill. Why is everybody so quiet? Why is John Hendy quiet? What's the matter with him? Like him? One more thumbs up. Back Barry's bill. Back Barry's bill! Back Barry's bill! Back Barry's bill! Mind the troublemakers. That was not photobombing. You'll also notice the Rainer source told it another porky because they said Rainer did not speak to Corbyn. In that clip, they shared a joke about John Healy. So the whole thing was a complete lie, completely pathetic. All of this, this quite embarrassing affair, spawned quite a charming meme. So in response to the obvious lie from that source, people have tweeted their own examples of being struck by photobomber Corbyn. I went for a pint at Glastonbury and got a hashtag Corbyn photobomb. Chair of Young Labour, Jess Barnard, she tweets, I too have been the victim of hashtag Corbyn photobomb crimes. Thoughts and prayers for Angela at this difficult time. And who can forget the time Jeremy Corbyn tried to photobomb a dog and the dog caught him in the act. And Tommy Corbyn, who is one of Jeremy Corbyn's son, tweeted the following. Nice Father's Day meal out with my brothers. Ruined. Corbyn's three sons um, next to what looks like some delicious food with Jeremy Corbyn pretending to photobomb the photo from the background. Ash, this was obviously a very cute response from Corbynites online. But the original comment, I mean... Whether it was, you know, we can have a discussion about whether a uh, source close to Rayner means that Rayner endorsed the comment. But in any case, the whole thing is pretty gross, isn't it? What's your take? Well, look, my take is that it is, as you said, it's teenage, it's petty, it's schoolyard, because ultimately it's manufactured a row which is more damaging to Angela Rayner than simply being pictured next to the ex-Labour Party leader because now she looks like somebody who either has an out of control comms officer or is herself uh, somebody who's not telling the truth and over what? Over you know standing next to Jeremy Corbyn uh, not only your former boss but somebody who you campaigned to be Prime Minister um, both sharing your support for a cause which is a hell of a lot more important than who's standing next to who in a photograph. So I think that this is really one of those things which is a panicky attempt 
to soothe frayed nerves amongst a highly selective um, and out of touch group of insiders. And instead, it ends up blowing up in your face. Um, in terms of whether or not this is going to be important, I mean, look, I kind of think like funny memes should stay funny memes. And I thought the response from, um, you know, Corbyn supporter Twitter accounts and public figures was really cute. Um, but it could have an impact if some of the rumors are true and Angela Rayner is sounding out support for um, a leadership bid that when she comes to, you know, take her platform to the membership for a vote, there'll be a few people going, hang on, but I remember you being a bit snaky when it comes to Jeremy Corbyn, who, you know, the membership are quite likely to have voted for um, either back in 2015 or in 2016. So I think it's one of those things, which was a panicky response, a stupid response, and it might have a little bit more damage uh, than anyone would have intended. Thank you.